morning sir morning so your name is monica right so monica introduce yourself good morning sir first of all thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself my name is monica i am from dharmapuri but currently staying in hyderabad uh, i have completed my uh, mca in aroda pg college I have done my project is an online gig management system and i use technology java coming to my uh, coming to my technical skills i'm good knowledge at java html css and my strength is uh, i'm a quick learner i learn i can i can grasp easily i learn quickly and my weakness is i won't get sleep until I complete my work uh, my hobbies are listening to music and cooking my goal is to get a good job in a limited company where i can prove my knowledge and skills my long term goal is to achieve a better position and, and head to that organization too coming to my family background there are three members in my family including me father and mother that's how they both me so thank you so your technical skills are java uh, java html and css css and sql okay so how do you rate yourself in java so seven so explain java architecture so first uh, source code byte code and machine code source code is nothing but uh, it is a human readable language like a plain text it is contain the set of the instructions and next uh, uh, byte code it is compiled from the source code to low level programming language is mainly designed for the interpreter and next to machine code it contain the machine instructions so who will convert source code into byte code source code to byte code who is going to convert compiler what is the compiler compiler and translate the high level programming language like source code to low level programming language like a byte code so what is an interpreter interpreter is a uh, line by line code execute and uh, it execute the machine code uh, and run the java program so interpreter is going to convert so byte code into the machine code so who is going to act as interpreter in java jdk jdk so what is jdk Java development kit. So, what is the difference between JDK, JVM, and JRE? Uh, JDK is used for the develop the Java programs, and JVM is a Java virtual machine. It translates the uh, bytecode to machine code. And next one, sir. What is JRE? Java runtime environment. What does it contain? It executes uh, runtime programs. It contains JVM and few library files. Okay. So, give some Java features. So, Java is a simple and robust, and Java is a uh, architecture neutral, and Java is an interpreter. Java is a portable. What is platform independent? Um, uh, write one Java program that can run on any platform. Like Linux, Windows, Unix, Mac. Okay. So, what is portable? Portable means uh, Java byte uh, bytecode. Uh, Java carries the uh, bytecode to any platform. What is dynamic loading? Dynamic loading means perform some actions and load the classes. It loads the classes. So? other programming languages also okay so we can load the classes which are developed in other programming languages so that is nothing but that so what is object oriented uh, any programming language that follows the four principles in caps like encapsulation inheritance polymorphism and abstraction that is a object oriented programming language what is abstraction abstraction means uh, it shows the essential features and hiding the background details it is known as abstraction the main use of abstraction is uh, to provide the security for the code so how do you achieve this abstraction by using two um, class like abstract uh, abstract method and uh, interfaces what is an interface interface is similar to a class and it contain the variables and methods also uh, if we declare a variable inside an interface uh, there are default uh, final and static variables if we declare a method in, inside an interface there there are default abstract methods what is a functional interface so any interface if it contains only 
one method, one abstract method, we call it as a functional method. So it has to contain only one abstract method. What is an abstract method? Abstract method means uh, it does not contain any body. Doesn't contain any, any body. What is an abstract class? An abstract class means uh, it contains at least one abstract method, then the, then the class is called abstract class. So can we create an object for the abstract class? No. Then how do you uh, exit, uh, access the methods that are present in the class name dot method? Class name dot method. Yeah. But abstract classes cannot be. Uh, we cannot create an object for abstract classes. So for which classes we need to create the object? Instant, uh, instant classes. For the child classes. Child. So you need to extend the Pay. abstract class to the child Pay. class. So for that classes, you need to create the object. What is final? Final means uh, constant and uh, final means to restrict the variables and methods and classes also. If we declared as a, if we declared final for the variable, uh, that variable can't be changing. If we declared a uh, final for the classes, that class cannot be inherited. If we declared a final for the uh, methods, that method cannot be overridden. What is the difference between final and finally? Final is a non. Final means non-access modifier to restrict the uh, variables, methods, and classes. Finally means um, it it is a exception. It it, uh, it excludes the irrespective of the tri-catch blocks and. Um, what is finalized method? Finalized method is used to garbage collections. What is uh, what is an exception? Exception is uh, unexpected situation in the applications. Expe uh, exceptions are two types: checked exceptions and checked exceptions. Checked exceptions are uh, checked at the run time, uh, compile time exceptions. Uh, unchecked exceptions are checked at the run time exceptions. So examples? Uh, checked exceptions are IO exceptions, SQL exceptions, unchecked exceptions are array out of bound exceptions, and uh, arithmetic exceptions. When do we get this array out, array index out of bounds exception? Uh, if we give the array size is 5, and uh, um, we print, uh, we print uh, A of 6. Uh, so if you give the index value, more than it has. So, but if you cross the index value, so then it will become, it will throw, it will throw array index out of bounds exception. So, why do we need to handle these exceptions? Uh, to provide the continued flow of execution and uh, to provide the information to the uh, complete information to the user. So, how do you handle these exceptions? By using try catch blocks. By using try catch blocks. So, what is the difference between throw and throws keywords? Throw is used for the runtime exceptions, throws is used for the compile time exceptions, and the throw is declared within a method, and the throws is used, throw is defined with the method signatures. Throw is defined with method signature. So, it is used for explicitly throwing any exception. Throw is used. It is not used for handling the exception. It is used for throwing a new exception. What is static? Static is mainly used for the memory management. Uh, static is used for the classes, variables. Static, can we use it for classes? No, variables and methods. What is uh, multi-threading? Multi-threading means uh, executing multiple threads simultaneously. Executing. What is multitasking? Executing several tasks at the same time. So what is a thread? Thread is like, like a path. Separate path between the user and the application. How, how many ways we can create a thread? 
two ways. What are they? By using thread class and runnable interface. Okay. What is the collection? Collection is a group of elements uh, which are enabled single entity. Group of elements instead of one single element. entity. What is an array list? Array list is a growable array where all the elements, uh, it allows the duplicate values and null insertion also. And it, will, uh, it implements the random access also. And preserves the insertion order. So, what is the difference between array list and linked list? Array list and linked list. Mm. Linked list is a uh, linked doubling internally, and array list is not linked doubling. And uh, insertion and deletion. Operations are very costly in array list. Insertion and deletion operations are very easily in linked list. What is stack? Stack. Uh, stack is a child class of the vector class and it is mainly designed for the FIFO order, like FIFO first in first off. FIFO order or LIFO order? LIFO order, last in first off. What is the set interface? Set interface is it is a growable array and uh, it does not allow the duplicate values and null, null insertion is not possible uh, and does not preserve the insertion order. Null values are allowed only, only once. once. So null values are allowed. Okay. What is the difference between iterator and list iterator? Iterator is used for the uh, any class, any inter, any classes, and the list iterator. List, inter, list iterator is used for the implement the list classes. It is a universal cursor. It is a. No. It is used only for list implementing classes. What is a constructor? Constructor is mainly used for the initialize the objects. Constructor name is same as a class name. And uh, constructor does not have any hidden type. Uh, when object is created, automatically constructor is called when object is created. So, what is polymorphism? The ability to take more than one form. How many types of polymorphism? There are two types static polymorphism, dynamic polymorphism. Static polymorphism means uh, this is done at compile time through method overloading. Dynamic polymorphism means this is done at runtime through method overriding. What is method overriding? Um, de defining the functional. Okay. So, what is method overloading? Method overloading means uh, method two or more method uh, same name but uh, different in parameters like uh, data type or sequence. What is inheritance? Creating a new class from an existing class. So how do you create a new child class? Extends keyword. By using extends keyword. So how many types of inheritance are there? Five. Single, uh, multi-level, uh, hierarchical, hybrid, multiple. But Java does not support multiple. What is multiple inheritance? Two parent class, one child class. So why Java doesn't support this multiple inheritance? Because of ambiguity situation. What is that ambiguity situation? Uh, if two parent class have same method, uh, the and child class will get confused. Which parent class will be called? So, so how do you achieve this multiple inheritance? By using the interfaces. By using interfaces. So what is the advantage of inheritance? Code reusability. Code reusability. What is encapsulation? Encapsulation. Encapsulation is a com concept combining data and code into a single unit. The advance advantage of uh, encapsulation is to provide the security for the data. What is an object? Object is an instantiation of a class. How do you create an object? Uh, by using new keyword. Class name, uh, 
reference object reference uh, is equal to new class name. So can we declare a constructor as a private? No. Why? A private uh, access modifier of the private class is within the class only. Within the class only. So, so can we overload static methods? Overload, oh, yes sir. Can we override, uh, can we overload, sorry, can we override main method? Main no. no. Okay. So why? So main method is a static keyword. Static keyword. So it belongs to compile time polymer. Compile time. So it is compiled with a binary bit during compile time. So we cannot override that one. Overriding in a sense, it has to be done at runtime. But if you use static keyword, main method will use the binded bit. Class. It means it is a compiled time. So that's the reason we cannot override main method. So let me give you one program. So write the program for that program. Okay, Monica, your communication skills are good, and the way you explain the answers is also good. But we have the fear of interview, so try to give more mock interviews so that you will overcome that interview. Okay, all the best. Thank you, sir.